This is Lee Hartwell, the scientist. My career was uh, 40 years or so doing bench science in genetics and cell biology. And this is Susan Biner, the artist. Uh, my work primarily is in ceramic materials, although I have ventured out from that a little bit and using mixed media. Uh, this is Pamela Winfrey. She's sort of in between. My background is in theater and interdisciplinary arts uh, with a focus on science and technology. We showed them three different photos and asked them to decide, is this a picture of art or of science? <laughs> oh my gosh. <laughs> Here's image number one. So I'm gonna say that's art because it's, it's an obvious depiction of a otter. otter? Yeah. Yeah. And you can tell by the brush strokes. Yeah, it's a very nice painting, but it illustrates, right, life cycle related things, right? It, I mean, it shows you that otters eat fish. The otter looks quite proud of the fish he's caught. <laughs> but if I were to see this, I would say that's art. To me, I see it as a depiction because I can see it as a painting. If you could use this as a teaching tool, which you can, you can say, oh look, otters eat fish. Oh look, they're using right. their hands in right. certain ways, right? They're contact based. Right, right, right. So it is, you could definitely right. um, tilt it both directions, I think. The role of art in contemporary society has changed quite a bit. So it's almost as if we need science and maybe science needs artists. Here's image number two. What an incredible image, right? It's just, mm -hmm. it's just overpowering. Powerful. It's just, there's so much emotion in mm -hmm. this, right? It's just... I'm going to say that science because it's more documentary. You know what? It's like a big giant scale. <laughs> right. <laughs> it's like, wait, or wait. Right. I've sort of really been thinking about the concept of what if. You know, both scientists and artists are always thinking and imagining, what if I try this? And what if I try that? When I sort of look back over my career and I try to think about what I enjoyed the most, it was coming in the morning and getting out the petri dishes and looking at the result. But it, it was definitely the process of, of, of thinking, doing, you know, manipulating with your hands, coming in and looking at the results that was the fun rather than the ultimate mm -hmm. conclusion. You know, yesterday we were talking about pipettes, and one of the um, grad students was saying, oh yeah, you know, when I teach um, pipette technique, I make them do 500 dots that are all the same. <laughs> and I hadn't really thought about the manipulate, like the skills, the manipulation required for science until yesterday. Mm -hmm. Here's image number three. This is interesting to me because I don't know how slight I do what it is. I, I, I kind of want to do this. <laughs> Oh, that's funny. As a screen to see what these are, but... So this is the epitome to me of both, because I have no idea what this is. Yeah. And so it's mystery, right? You know, in, in art, it can be an individual perception. It can be the way you view the world, and it's perfectly valid to you. Um, whereas science is about reaching consensus. I mean, we have to do that as well. Whether I put something out in the world that means anything to anyone else is you know, not necessarily a valid idea in the contemporary art world. So in a way, you have to prove that. I think people think that scientists have all the answers, and what they don't understand is they actually have all sorts of things they don't understand. There's, there's less that we understand than we do understand. Well, that's the mistake we make in teaching science, is that we teach it like history of art instead of like art. So, you can do history of science like instead yeah. of doing science. That's good. That's a great quote. <laughs> but you know, I think it comes around to the same conclusion. I, I, it feels like we're talking in circles in a way. We, could, we can't really find an answer. We're just continually searching for that, you know? Yeah. Do we just need some wine? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Well, that's true. <laughs> that was a good answer. Well, yeah, thank you. That's good. Right? Yeah, yeah, that's why. Yeah. Thank you.